Today I'll be showcasing these two absolute beasts of speedrunning content in One Piece Treasure Cruise with two insane teams that we're going to be taking into content. One is going to be for Golf Challenge Doe Flamingo 1 and we'll be using a three-man team only using Double Cat, Viper and Dogstorm as captains with Carrot as a sub. That team is insane, it took me hours right. to make so make sure you stick along for that. And then I'll also be showing you a very fast speed team for quality and Morley that clears the content in under two minutes using these combos. So, it's absolutely insane, you don't want to miss this. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe, but let's get straight into it. Starting off with the Golf Challenge 1 Doflamingo team. Okay, so briefly going through what they do. So, starting off with Carrot, so this is not scripted, this is just off the top of my brain. So, Carrot, when fully level or broken at level 5, her captain ability is going to give you a 4.75x attack multiplier. No HP boost, no recovery boost. So, she's quite vulnerable, but her attack multiplier goes up to 5.25x when she becomes the captain in the middle of the quest. Uh, now that is nice, it's a very strong multiplier, but it's only for 3 turns, otherwise it's 4.75x, which is still very strong and will suffice in most content. Most importantly though, she gives minus 2 cooldown to all units and allows your crew to bypass normal attacks. I mean, enemy defensive effects with normal attacks. Unfortunately, this is uh, a trade-off for uh, disabling your own defensive effects, so you're left even more vulnerable with Carrot. Um, obviously, you want to clear content as fast as possible, so the, the lack of defensive effects on your crew and HP is not too bad. The main point here is that she's going to be very fast with the cooldown, and she's also very strong with her attack multiplier. And obviously, being able to bypass enemy damage reduction threshold and barriers with her, uh, her captain ability is very strong. As for a special, a special is also very insane. Uh, when you have a fully level and broken, it goes up to a 2.5x orb boost for all characters, which is very strong. Uh, very uh, good that it's a universal orb boost. She also is going to give an additional minus 2 cooldown to your entire crew, which is awesome, helping her with her speed farming capabilities even as a sub. Additionally, she's going to change to your captain for 3 turns if she isn't captain already, which obviously helps her get that 5.25x max attack multiplier in a captain effect. And then, um, yeah, it's, she's also going to set your enemy's defense to zero if you have a fully level 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 broken, which is a nice added effect, which is going to help you proc other enemy co uh, other conditional attack boosts on your team. It also helps to get around enemy defense up if they don't have a immunity buff. So, Carrot overall is very good, having a very strong captain ability. She is quite vulnerable, but with the way you're going to be using her, you don't really need it to be super tanky. Obviously, you're not going to use it in long form content because she'll go out of her Su long form after 14 turns. Um, even if she does go out of Su long form, her captain multiplier, uh, attack multiplier is still 4.75x. You just lose the ability to go through enemy barriers and also the increased chance of matching orbs. So, overall, Carrot is a very good character. Uh, not only in the captain ability as a captain, she's also sort of very useful as a sub, uh, obviously allowing you to go into a captain and making her have a better captain ability. Um, and obviously she works well with other characters to proc their conditional attack boost with her defense down. So that's it for Carrot, a very good character. Um, I definitely think she'll be used even if uh, you don't have a level lower broken, she's still very usable in today's content. Her level lower break just made it a lot more usable and better. Uh, as for Cat Viper and Dogstorm, this character is crazy. The first minus 4 cooldown captain in the game. Absolutely crazy for speed farming content. So how they work is they're gonna boost. I also I forgot to mention for Carrot, she boosts slashers, uh, fighter, slasher, striker, shooter, and cerebral characters. So all of the uh, primary classes and then also cerebral characters. So quite a wide variety of units for character boost. As for Dogstorm and Cat Viper, um, they boost slasher, striker, cerebral, and powers characters. So basically the same amount of classes, um, just different classes which they still work very well together. Um, now Cat Viper and Dogstorm is overall a lot better than, than Carrot. Uh, they give a 1.3x HP multiplier, uh, which is insane, they have very good tankiness. Uh, the reason it's insane though is because they also have an effect in their dual captain form that allows them to get one times this character's healing, uh, one times this character's recovery as healing for every perfect your crew hits. So up to 6 perfects uh, and double cat viper means 2 times this character's recovery every single turn with, uh, if you hit all 6 perfects. So you're going to have insane healing if you have uh, a good recovery on your cat viper and dog storm. And then also having that nice HP multiplier is awesome. They also have a very good attack multiplier being 5.25x in their dual form and being 4.75x in their singular form. So very strong in their singular form still which is the main error with uh, issue with dual captains as captains because they have uh, quite weak uh, singular captains, but this character definitely doesn't have that issue. Uh, boasting insane multipliers still in their singular forms. As for the, uh, um, the special effect, oh yeah, also the captain effect, they have minus uh, two cooldowns, 
uh, at the start of the quest tool those uh, relevant classes. After the, uh, as soon as you hit stage three in the quest, then you'll get an additional two turns to all to all the characters, and then also in addition to that, um, they're going to give a minus two cooldown to themselves. So they're basically a minus four cooldown captain to your entire crew, and then minus six cooldown to themselves. As for the special. They're going to give a 2.25x attack and color affinity for their relevant classes. And then if you hit two perfects in this turn, you're going to get a 2.5x all boost to their relevant classes in the following stage. Um, and then also if you have an all boost present when you launch the special initially, then they're going to give a 3 turn 2x defense down conditional attack boost. So you can start to see why they work so well with a carrot, because they give a defense down conditional attack boost, which they do not proc themselves. And then Carrot is going to give a defense down but doesn't give a conditional boost. So they work very well like Yin and Yang there with their specials. And also uh, Cat Viper and Dogstorm don't give an all boost with their special on their initial stage when you launch them. So Carrot works well since she gives an all boost on that initial stage. So <laughs> when you launch these two together you get attack, orb, color affinity and a conditional all at once. Uh, as well as getting around enemy defense up. Also, Cat Viper and Dogstorm get around 6 turns of attack down and chain coefficient reduction in their special. So, very nice utility um, with these two combos. Obviously, getting around defensive effects with Carrot and then uh, getting around attack down and chain coefficient reduction with uh, Cat Viper and Dogstorm. Additionally, they can also give another turn of cooldown to their relevant classes in their special. So, <laughs> their special is action packed. They give the most damage boosting effects in the game with their special. They also have very good 6 turn utility for 2 debuffs that are quite common. And they're also going to give more cooldown on top of that. So, very usable special. I don't think this character will ever die. It's probably the best level limit break and 6 plus combination we've ever had in the game. And then, uh, as for the swap and super swap effect, we can't neglect this either. It gives them even more utility and damage. So the singular swap effect is going to give themselves a 2x orb boost, as well as a matching orb. Um, it doesn't go through the block though, but this, uh, the, the matching orb guaranteed, as well as the orb boost for themselves, is mo enough damage to handle most mini bosses. So very good damage there. They also reduce a paralysis by one turn with their regular swap effect and get rid of their own despair and slot bind entirely. So if you're running these two as captains, you can completely ignore despair even if you're inflicted with like 99 turns of it. You can just completely get rid of it with their regular swap effect. Obviously slot bind isn't as common but it's nice to have that. And obviously the paralysis every single turn and one turn of reduction in longer form content that really makes a difference. Uh, as for the uh, super swap effect which only takes 4 normal swaps to charge fully which is the lowest requirement for a super swap possible it's very good uh, very easy to get to but what it's going to do is going to give you a full board of matching orbs not to the block obviously that would be way too broken but a full board of matching orbs is nothing to scoff at it's very strong in addition to that they're going to give a 2x orb boost for your uh, for the relevant classes that they boost in their captain ability and the special so quite a few characters are going to get a orb boost so it's nice that the entire team is going to get that and then uh, they're going to reduce paralysis by 4 turns for the entire crew so very insane utility from a super swap and they still keep the effect of getting rid of despair and slot bind on themselves entirely so <laughs> this character is insane their super swap is one of the best in the game and has the lowest requirement to charge they have one of the best specials and captain abilities in the game and even as even though they have uh, they, they are a dual captain they don't have the flaws that most dual characters have where they're very weak in their singular form they still have very strong captain in a singular form. They also have a ton of matching orbs in the captain effect. Strength, Sigh and Recovery, I forgot to mention that but it's very good. They don't have any they don't have any issues if you if you, if you think they are a bad character then fight me because there's nothing wrong with them. They're tanky, they have a lot of healing, they have a very good attack multiplier, they have matching orbs, they have the best cooldown in the game, they have amazing special super swap. It's a perfect character bro. Um, so earlier I explained that um, they have a very good uh, synergy because, uh, as a uh, from the special uh, point of view, uh, uh, Cat Five and Dogstorm give an attack boost, color affinity, and conditional, and then Carrot gives an all boost and prox conditional. Also, as captains, like it, the ideal setup is to run double Cat Viper and Dogstorm as captains. Uh, that allows you to get around the spear entire, entirely. And also it allows you to get two turns of paralysis reduction with the swap effects every single turn. But also then you can use carrot special mid quest when there is enemy defensive effects. You use a special, and then she'll swap into the captain. She'll have a boosted attack multiplier, and then you can get around enemy defensive effects with her uh, captain ability. So this character, this combo is it's perfect, bro. It's yin and yang. Um, but this video is running quite a bit long, so I, I've talked about everything I wanted to say about this unit. As you've seen in this video, the the combo is very potent. 
in both of these quests. But that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you want to see more content like this in the, in the, in the future, where it's more experimental with these teams and these combos, then uh, tell me in the comments. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.